It's two firsts for Mark, a first date and a first trip to another planet. At the same time, Nolan and Debbie revisit their own first vacation together. Welcome to my channel, my name is Justin. If you guys love to watch movies and Amazon Prime's new series, Invincible, like I do, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that notification for more up and coming videos. Last week saw the release of the first three episodes of Invincible on Friday. And every Friday we're gonna get a new episode of Invincible. So every Friday you're gonna get a new Invincible review. Today we're gonna be talking about the fourth episode titled Neil Armstrong, Eat Your Heart Out. There's a lot of things that went on with the first three episodes. This will contain spoilers for all four episodes. We saw in the first episode that Omni-Man was the one that killed the Guardians. And people don't know that it was him, including his son. And there's a demon detective that is on his heels trying to solve this case. Mark discovered a young team of superheroes joined them to try to stop an alien race. He's also starting to go on dates. There's a lot going on in Mark's life. And the fourth episode really does a good job of continuing Mark's story of being very personal and small. What the show does not forget is that he is a teenager. He's gonna forget things. He's gonna go on dates. He's still in high school. The series never forgets that. So this episode is also teasing a lot of future moments that we could get, especially in the beginning of the episode with the Mahler twins, well, one of them, as he's trying to recreate his brother. And that could be leading to something down the road. There's a new team of Guardians of the Globe where Rex Blode has joined that team and left Eve behind. But there is some mystery behind this team, especially with robots being very secretive about things, which which could lead to maybe him being manipulated or him having a different motive for getting this team together. One of the big moments for Mark in this episode is when he takes on a trip to go to Mars to protect these astronauts that go on this mission and he doesn't keep track of them when they are on Mars and so they are captured by this alien race and he has to save them and return back to Earth. So this is like his first like big solo mission and he has to prove himself within here and he fails at it several times in that episode. And so he still has a lot to prove and still has a lot to learn. I'm still really liking Omni-Man in here. I think that the mystery behind his story and what had happened in the first episode is really building throughout these episodes and the demon detective on his heels trying to solve this case and his wife being and his wife getting suspicious building this mystery within these episodes that is only going to continue to grow with the upcoming episodes and i think that it will lead to a really epic battle towards the end of the series like I said, I have not read this series that lasted for 15 years, but it is something that I would be interested in reading because I really do like these first four episodes. This fourth episode is really good. It's really building the character of Mark and never forgetting that he is a teenager and that he has a lot to learn. He's still understanding his powers and still wants to go on dates and be in high school while also building this mystery of what had happened with Omni-Man and the Guardians and this new team of Guardians of the Globe, and also building up some of these smaller characters like Eve and Rex Splode, who I do enjoy seeing, really getting to know them, make them characters worth watching. And this episode does end on a cliffhanger with Robot having a blood sample of Rex Splode. And then he and he puts it in a machine and he says that we're starting phase one. Then, like I said, there's this different motive or he has these different plans. So I'm really curious to see what's going to happen in the fifth episode. But right now, this fourth episode was really good. It's building this mystery for Omni-Man, really understanding that Mark is a teenager and still understanding his powers. It's a lot of fun and I like the dynamics between him and Eve and never forgetting some of the smaller characters in here as well. I'm going to go ahead and give the fourth episode of Invincible a B+. Thank you guys for checking my review for Invincible. Have you guys seen the fourth episode? What do you think about Are you looking forward to the fifth episode? Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Just Watches Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.